Yeah. Why your bass? Why your bass? Well, it's Why? not your bass. Yeah, it's your bass. <laughs> the eye is silent. Okay, okay. <laughs> let, let's see. Let's your see. Bass. Yeah. Well, your bass, whatever your, your bass. bass is. But we call it your bass. Your it's bass. called. Uh, it's, what uh, language is this? It's Igbo. Huh? Igbo for. That's one, yeah. Igbo is yeah. your bass. Yeah, me, trust me. I was. I did my research. I was trying to. I was searching. I was. I was. Are you sure it's your bass? Uh -uh. Because I thought it was Alubosa, but Alubosa is Yoruba. Alubosa is but Alubosa sounds like Igbo too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think like, Hausa people too refer to onions as, as Alubosa. Al Albasa. But, I, Al Albasa, yeah. but Igbo is your, your bass. Oh. So I was like, wow, it's a cool name for onions. And this is where you guys get to understand what I've been doing since. My plan, still my plan anyway, is to move around each industry in, in a circle and come back to comedy where it started. Okay. Now I've done comedy, I've reached where, I don't know if you do password, which I don't do. Okay. Then I moved to TV, flatmates. Mm -hmm. And I think I took flatmates to a point where it's now yes, very, yes, yes. then I said, okay, you know what's next? Let's do online. Why? Because Online is where everybody's going to right now. Mm -hmm. You can reach more people online. Yes. So I like, you know what, Bright, go to that space. And that's when I started creating Papa Benji. Mm -hmm. You understand? The time was perfect. So after Papa Benji, the next move was, okay, music, which was almost the same. Because yeah. I was like, okay, after um, online, you go to music. After music, you now go to movies. Oh, okay. After movies, you now go back to comedy. Have you, have you said this anywhere? This is the first time this I'm the saying it. Exclusive, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. So I've always told myself that the day I would interview Basketball, the first question I would going to ask is, I'm going to take you down history lane, I will memory lane, what I've already told that. <laughs> you understand? There's this joke you told, mm. there are two things involved. <laughs> that joke is a classic. I don't know if there's another word to describe jokes we have in this room. You know, say, guess what kind of jokes we could tell you, you know, say, ah, oh, how you killed it. Do you understand? <laughs> Do you get? So that particular joke. Yes. How? So, um, I was, it was in school back then, in Kosovo, me and my friends. You know, there was one guy with us, we were just vibing, you know, people were doing this. It was like, it was, it was, so it was just like a vibe, okay. and I picked it up. And I was like, then I wasn't really doing comedy. I was still, I was still playing around. Okay. Uh, I had not written a joke, a joke then. <laughs> I just had, I just had what they call, is it Lamba? Or okay. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just get G's from out. Mm. You know, that was when I now, you know, started picking things, I started piecing things together. And for me, back then, uh, my, my materials were very cerebral because of the way mm -hmm. it all happened. Like, the first person that I saw perform, as in the first comedian I saw, yeah. uh, was the Demophy. Oh, okay. Yeah, so my elder brother's friend saw me mm -hmm. in making some of my friends laugh, and he was like, guy, come, have you ever seen Delirious? <laughs> I was like, no, it's like the Murphy's performance. I didn't even know the Murphy was a comedian. Was a comedian, okay. You know, so uh, I watched it. And I was like, this is what I want. I can do this. <laughs> the first thing I said was, I can do this. This is what I want to do, you know? And that was it. And, you know, everything just started piecing together. But because of he was the one that influenced me, mm -hmm. you know, the, 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 the kind of writing when it comes to it uh, was more you know, cerebral, my personal life, my story, things that affect, you know, me and my people. So I like the fact that you use the word cerebral, because I'm thinking back, as you mentioned the first, and I started thinking back that, that is why Basquemart is still here, and it's still going to be here for a while. Why do you say that? Do you understand? <laughs> because now, a normal, co I don't want to say normal comedian, but at that time, the people that were there, shout out to each and every one of them, yeah. none of them would have said that joke. That yeah. joke took like maybe three or four minutes before we got yeah, to the point. To the like, end, yes. Do you get? Yeah. So it's like, uh, and he come now. Two, two <laughs> things. Like, how this guy want to finish? Are you finish? Yeah. And to be honest, I won't lie to you. When I got booked to, to do the Ghana gig, because that was the first time I really, really did it oh, okay. outside, outside my space. Okay. I was putting all the uh, materials together, and something just told me, right? Start with this material. Mm. This is where they need to hear it. This kind of crowd that you can. You know, do such material in front of. I'm like, okay, 
<laughs> I was talking to myself. <laughs> and dude, man, if you know, if you watch that video, you'll notice I was, I was nervous. But you, it's gonna be hard for you. Yeah, because yeah. it was part of my style. Yeah, I come with that style to hide my nervousness. Oh, yeah, but I was oh. bloody nervous. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, that. looking at us from the audience side now, Namu will come. Come laugh. Come laugh. Come laugh. Yes. We don't see the work that actually goes into. Yeah, because really if you work. tell people today that Omo, before you stood over on stage and started telling these jokes. You have to actually sit down or write or think yeah, of you, the timing. You, yeah, yeah, some you, people they're like, nah, I don't believe it, man. Yeah, we write material. There are some that are spontaneous right there on, on, on stage. You know, that one, those ones serve the crowd, they feel that those ones more because it's more they can relate with it because mm. it's there and there. It's there and there, so they can yeah, see it's funnier and than when you come with something that's already scripted. Mm. But eighty percent of the time when I'm on stage. The delivery is actually spontaneous. I change my delivery according to the energy I'm that feeling is. from the crowd. Oh, okay. Because if I'm feeling a good vibe, the delivery is different. If it's a bit stiff, I do it because I cannot come with the same pattern every time. So even if I'm doing a material five times, it's different because I have to give it to them the way they would like to receive it. So. Okay. Yeah, you have to just be able to, you know. You, you, you tell, you tell this thing yeah. the thing you get on stage and everything. Yeah. Because people Before like, you get on stage, actually, oh, you have okay. to. You, when I get, when I go for gigs, I, I like, I like to look at the crowd and you know. Oh, okay. At, okay. Know, okay. Before okay. I go, <laughs> you just yeah, see faces. You first see everybody. Like, okay, okay. <laughs> these are eighty-year-old men here. Okay, are young people here. Like, <laughs> okay, okay. Make, it makes makes sense now. But people like you that have been in the game for a while. Sometimes all you need to do is just step on stage. Sometimes and men, don't begin to laugh. Mm, because they they don't they laugh so okay, <laughs> we'll this guy go talk we'll talk rubbish <laughs> <laughs> which, which but, is but, why it's, it's 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 a beautiful world man out there like you know being able to do all those things being able to come out and say just talk and make people and just change mm -hmm. their whole yes. vibe you yes. know yeah and it's it's fun it I is like it. it is i was thinking about one time that okay we we keep having these comedy shows Mm -hmm. people, and people keep coming and buying tickets and everything. Mm -hmm. At some point, this was not how show, the way the musicians do shows now mm -hmm. was not how they used to do it. Mm -hmm. But for the comedy industry, day in day out, there's somebody that's always doing, mm -hmm. you understand? And people will still come out and buy the tickets and have a good yeah, because the country is too, if you know, now people need to laugh. Oh, wow. People so need let's, to laugh. Let's, let's, leave, let's, leave, <laughs> let's leave this country. Mm -hmm. Let's leave this country. Matter. You said something mm -hmm. about the comedy club, and I was looking at your website. I think yesterday. And you said you had you had plans of opening a comedy club. Yeah. Or once Lagos is open back, that's what is one. Yes. That's, yeah. So that's, we have to update that. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we we've been running, but right oh, now okay. every, every, everything is shut down again. Oh, I think I yeah. yeah I think two I months. Think. We've done it two months oh, okay. now. Okay. Yeah, but we don't just updated it. For the, oh. Thanks for bringing that to my notes. Yes. <laughs> it's, not, it's not hard. It's not every update I give you. <laughs> I don't give you one. So please write it down. Right. <laughs> <laughs> write it down. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about the because if we continue this comedy, we're not gonna come up for it. Today. I know. There are a lot of stuff. Let's talk the music first of all. That's once you play any song on the project, you first hear basket. <laughs> is that you? That's was that? That's, that's, you. Well, that's Oh, nice. that's, that's, how, that's my own. That, that's yeah. my verse on yeah. every song. <laughs> you know, Killer punchline. You see, you basket. see, basket. basket. Nobody writes it better. That's <laughs> <laughs> one verse, one line. Yeah. You hear basket, then you hear doctor, and I'm like, <laughs> doctor is the guy. The, the I guy that yeah. Put this What's doctor his name? Said. Doctor said he yeah. did the whole. The so why did you even decide to go with him? Because it's not, it's not every day we see Someone one person yeah. just does the whole... Yeah. I'll tell you what happened. So, when I started work, uh, creating Papa Benji, I, like mo what most people are seeing with the show is actually like 20% of what the show is all about. I'm trying oh. to, yeah, because it takes a while. Okay. And it was the case where I was doing the show daily, it would have been easier, but it's every week. So, okay. I'm trying to like, you know, introduce people and let you know mm -hmm. each person's character bible before I now go straight to you. Know. Okay. But when we were doing all those stuff, we needed to, we, I needed music. Mm -hmm. Because Papa Benji is situated in the Pepper Soup Joint. Pepper Soup Joint, there's music, there's the music, and there's um, the drinks, the people, and all that. Now, the music, I don't want to have issues with copyright and, you know, all those stuff. So like, right, you need to create your own sound. Okay. Now, the good thing is, I've always wanted to make an album. Okay. Yeah, because music was my first love. Knowing your history, yes. I was you waiting know, for you yeah. to say <laughs> Music was it my started, first love. It started with music. Okay. Then comedy chose me. Mm. I was the chosen one. I was saying. Then comedy chose Because the way it happened, like I said, someone called me, have you seen the Demophis? I didn't plan it. And I watched it. And it was just like, 
So I think um, God just uh, put me on that track okay. so I can do this. I don't know. I don't it just know. Uh, yes, but yes. I, yeah, but there's a story. I'll, I'll come oh, yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, so I needed to create, I needed to create an album. Okay. And it was perfect timing. Why? My plan, and this is where you guys get to understand what I've been doing since. My plan, still my plan anyway, is to move around each industry in, in a circle and come back to comedy where it started. Okay. Now I've done comedy, I've reached where, I don't know if you do password, which I don't do. Okay. And I moved to TV, flatmates. Mm -hmm. And I think I took flatness to a point where it's now yes, very... Yes, yes. Then I said, okay, you know, what's next? Let's do online. Why? Because online is where everybody's going to right now. Mm -hmm. You can reach more people online. Yes. So I'm like, you know what, Bright, go to that space. And that's when I started creating Papa Benji. Mm -hmm. You understand? The time was perfect. So after Papa Benji, the next move was, okay, music, which was almost the same. Because yeah. I was like, okay, after um, online, you go to music. After music, you now go to movies. Oh, After okay. movies, you now go back to comedy. Have you have you said this anywhere? This is the first time this I'm saying it. Exclusive, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so all I'm doing, I've been on a journey. Okay. And I'm about to complete that journey. Okay. With a movie. After that movie, my journey is complete. Mm. Yeah. So you go play ball. Mm? You play ball after the. After no, the I'll come back to comedy. I'm doing, so I'm doing a special. After the comedy, huh? You got, you no, 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 after the comedy, I don't, 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 I don't do, I don't do this, I don't do this. You don't do this. Because right now, I need all these things to be able to function. Okay. You understand? I say, because you go, you go, I, I, I hate it when something is missing, or I'm seeing something, I'm not, and I like it, I'm not doing it, or I'm not part of that movement. Music is something I've always loved. Papa Benji gave me an opportunity. The kind of sound I was creating in 1995, as at that time, yeah. was weird to people because I was blending hip hop music and fella kind of mm. Afro beat. So people were like, what is Wait, off? Who is this What's he Wait, doing? <laughs> so I stopped. I was like, you know what? <laughs> so I just JJ Fulu comedy. And I enjoyed the journey. I st I'm still enjoying it. I'm still doing I'm still proud. No, many people know. I'm still, I'm still very busy. You're still, you're still very busy. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks, it looks like sometimes I just think about when I think about it, I just think about your house now, like your mm. family. Like mm. I know your brother is an artist. Yeah. Then your younger brother, what's his name? Play. Play the music. He's a musician. Yeah. You self. Yeah, all, of us, all, all of us. All so of us imagine saying, I don't talk, I don't believe, na, if you don't stay, I don't stay, play, give me a vibe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's just, that's the thing. So now, when I now, when I now wanted to create uh, the, the soundtrack album, the sitcom, oh, okay. I was like, okay, Brian, this is an opportunity for you to create that music. Okay. And I was like, okay, Brian, let's do the album, the soundtrack album. You know, there's a story behind it, mm -hmm. and you need music to, you know, carry this um, si um, online series. Okay. And that's why. That's, that's why. The, why that's, that's how why, everything. That's how happened. everything happened. Yeah. Okay, because I'm looking. I'm, I'm trying to even find. I'm looking at the album now. Yeah. And I'm seeing the names. I just understand that. Okay, from Pepe Soup to myself to Ride or Die, World People. Basically, not World People. World People. World People. Yeah. Yeah. Life one ball December Papa Benji Hustle and this is thirty minutes and you managed to get some of the top hands in the industry mm. and everybody. So how how was the process like? Let's say for a song like Peter Sutna. Yeah. Now let that you ask the question. How? Why did I choose Doctor Set? Yes. Let's. I'm going to bring okay. that question and I bring it down here. Okay. We're taking here. So the reason why I chose Doctor Set was because because of what I was creating. I needed it was it's it's different. It's a different kind of sound. I needed someone that can listen someone that's not too busy someone that is young someone that you know so i was searching then i bumped into dr set someone i bought i think it was on from explore page or someone sent me his his, his a video he made i did a promo when i was promoting you know that my you know, I was hey, trying to hey, hey, <laughs> so he used he used that thing yeah to make a beat Okay, so please hold on before you continue. Yeah. I just like to say something now that sometimes I speak to a lot of um, musicians, celebrities, and creative people. Yeah. Now I know you are you are about to tell us a story of how you and Doctor Said came in. I just want to tell people that almost if they do anything and you don't put yourself out there, man. Sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's important. Do you get That's because where if, we see if he didn't do that, I would have found you him. You would not have found him. So most people they come to me and say, oh, "Basket," uh, or no, not like they come. They send me messages. Ah, bro. I want to do mm -hmm. 
You can't use your mouth to tell me. <laughs> I need to see it. Okay. You understand? So that was what I saw. I saw Dr. Seth do something that was very you know, unique. Mm. The sound. I was like, so I followed him and I sent him a message. And I actually, I think I copied the video and I reposted it. Yeah. It was promo for, for me. It was promo for me as well. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and now we started chatting and I said, dude, I need you to make some beats for me and I sent him different like different references I want you to make this blend it with this he will make it I want you to do this I sent him about like for two months we we're bouncing and yeah okay. and he did all those things I was like okay this is the guy oh wow after yeah. two months yes of you guys going back, back and, and forth, forth. I wanted like, to test I wanted to know no but that was that was even even when I decided I went to first of all now meet him oh meet you haven't even met him for two months him. you guys were yeah oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay, let me tell you Fun fact, okay. you know the guy that does the inspirational quote, the animation, inspirational um, quote with Nasser Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, inspirational quote. The guys that do, the, the guys that do, the Genex. Yeah. I've never met them before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Um, seventy percent of the people that do my stuff, I've not met them. I met them on online. I'm mm. saying bouncing stuff. So do your stuff and put it out there. Just saying, mm. yeah, as we we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I told him to come around because, beyond the fact that he's a talented person, I needed to know if his spirit is right. Mm. So, he came here, we sat here, talked for a while, and his spirit was perfect. My spirit tell me, mm. this guy, guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, people might never know who he is, but if you know if he. If you're familiar with his music, yeah, he's done you stuff should with know Dr. Seth. Yeah, so you should know Dr. Seth. At the time, I didn't know I had done, yeah, done things with Dr. Oh, Seth. Oh, with Ife. You didn't know so you with, Yeah, with, with, with Ife. So, yeah. And after that, and I said, this story is long ago. Mm -hmm. And I told him that, I told him the story. Like, when we talked for a while, and I told him what I wanted to do, you know, and I told him that we had two weeks to produce the album. Because of the timing, <laughs> okay. yeah. Because of the timing, like we had to. Because I didn't know what what the world was going to come mm. with next. So I was like, okay, this this Let's is your opening, like you know. And we used two weeks, and it wasn't just because of we needed to create an album. There's a story behind the album. Oh, okay. So for every song that is on that album, for every title, it means something. Oh. So until you see the visual album, you won't understand, understand what's going on. But oh, I can okay. tell you some part of it. Okay, okay, let's do that quickly. Yeah, let's Pepe do that soup. quickly. It's titled Pepper Soup because that was where um, the character met with Duncan Mighty in the Pepper Soup joint. Uh -huh. He got into trouble with some agbiros and the police officers and some things, and the um, car splashed dirt on him. He went to the Pepper Soup joint to drink Pepper Soup, and he started hearing Duncan Mighty telling some mm -hmm. people some parables and everything, and that's how. This, That's how the this whole, song starts. The song. So after okay. this song, he walks out from the pursuit joint. I'm just, just going to tell you yeah, a little. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's yeah. do that as quickly as we can. Yeah. And he comes out and bumps into Oxley, who is the mechanic to help him oh, fix okay, his car. Okay. So Oxley was watching a music video on his phone. Oxley is a musician. He's also a mechanic. Oh. I'm like, ah, what are you watching? I did one music video. Let me see. And he shows him. And that's how the Oxley video that you've seen okay. plays. Okay. So from then on, you have to wait. Oh. Yes, Wait. but that's the story. <laughs> that's the story. So everything so, is all. So there's there's a reason why. The, why is one boy? One boy is. For, uh, give me one boy. There's a story. Okay. The ride or die is. This, is where, this story is about a guy that wants to get married to his his love, the love of his life. Okay. That's the uh, that's the story of this this whole thing. That's why you see December. If it wasn't for the whole answers and mm -hmm. all these things. It was supposed to be. Um, that song, the wedding happened in December. That's why the title of that song is December. December okay. Yes, and beyond the fact that I'm going to love you from January to December, mm. the wedding was supposed to be in December. So this uh, visual album was supposed to come out this month. Oh, okay. So, yeah. but you've pushed it. You've pushed I've pushed it, but not till December. But now, it doesn't matter. I'll just make it work it somehow. Work. Okay. okay. So everything is intentional. Because that's that's the word I wanted to hear. Everything that's is the, Like, because now me, I just hear the album like. Yeah, don't don't listen to the if you listen to the lyrics as well. Because you know. we, okay, talking about the lyrics, myself and my colleague, uh, when we were driving down this morning mm. for that pepper soup song, Blanca Mighty says, "Who they shit, know they smile." And yeah, it's like, and it's what true. kind of team is? Have you ever have you ever tried that before? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work. Oh no, yeah. no. So basically, this this 
uh, guys, you've heard how this whole project came together. And yeah. the fact, I think it just, for me personally, it just makes everything more interesting for me now. Yeah, it's beautiful. Because it gives the music, work. it gives it more, more underst I understand it better now. Yeah. Because before I was just listening to it like, oh, no, there's a story. Oh, there's a story. Okay, let, let's talk about the guys down this project okay. now. Like, how did you, you have Ice Prince, Duncan Mighty, Show Them Camp, Oxley, Ladipo, YJ, Flash, BOJ, everybody. These are top, top fans. Yeah. You understand? Okay, let's say you've got, you had gotten Dr. Set, now you're like, this is who I want to put yeah. be behind the boards of this project. So, so, so this how, people, how get, did you now get So, we were making beats. So, the first beat we made was Udo. Okay. Udo is, is actually one of my favorites. Udo songs. is actually like, no, but that's the last song. Yeah, well, okay. it was the first song. That the first beat that we created, the last song that we recorded. Oh. Yeah, it was hard for me to get. I, I, it was hard. Okay, to get Peruzzi on oh, it. Okay. It was Peruzzi's voice that I heard. So let me tell you, for every song that he created, so I take the song. Sometimes I just listen to it there and then, and I go like, this is who is gonna be on the song. Oh, okay. Sometimes, most times, I will take it and listen to it over and over again. And what I do is I start putting voices from different musicians, you know, and until I find that right person, you understand? Okay. Yeah, and I find that right person, and I go, okay, this person goes with this song, but she can't do it alone. She has she to do it with one person, one person, or this person can't do it alone. That's why you, there's some weird yeah, <laughs> collaboration. <laughs> yeah, there are, and there are some that, like, the, the first song we recorded was um, uh, the one with December. Okay. Was the first song it's we about recorded Caesar. with Caesar Mili. So, for if, when, when I know who's going to jump on it, I call it like Duncan Mighty. I told Duncan Mighty, man, I have, I've got this beat for you. I would like for you to make a beautiful, you know, uh, mm -hmm. jump on this project with me. And I told him the story. I told him, like, this is what I want you to talk about. I sent him the beat. The guy called me screaming. <laughs> Why? Because this beat spoke to him. To him. So he brought out himself, you understand, to the beat. And that's why if you listen to, for everybody that jumped on the song, on each song, they came with everything because it was for them. It was yeah. tailored for them. For them. I, I didn't, agree. Yeah, it was I tailored agree. for them. Talking about Duncan, when I heard it for the first I didn't know it was him. And yeah. it never happened. I, could, I usually can't tell yeah. that. But I think he was at the point, he was singing from... He wasn't singing as Duncan. He Duncan. was just singing like from his Omar. inside. That's so why I couldn't tell that he was. It was from later. His inside, yeah. The guy. Like, when I heard the song, I was like, "This is it." Like, for everyone, I didn't tell anybody. The only person that I told that, look, we have to take your your song, your verse again, was YJ. Okay. Yeah, and I hesitated. She had taken the song. The, the, she has finished. She had finished the song, but it wasn't. Her soul wasn't in it, mm. so I told the I told Ty Mix continue mixing every other song. Just give me give me some time. So I called her. I was like, "Why do you?" Hey, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you, know so you guys take care. I give it care like, "Why do you know the song? I know you killed it, <laughs> but uh -huh. I, I don't know how you can fit. You know, fit, you know <laughs> more take him again." She was like, "Yeah, why not?" Uh -huh. I was like, why Why, people, why I love you, right? Why do we love you? Because she's been to our studio. Humility as well. at its peak. Yes, yeah, I agree. When I told her, she was like, "Yeah, she's let's do it." I was like, "Really?" And I've been telling, but I, this is the first time I'm actually saying it. <laughs> and the only reason I'm saying, the only reason why I'm saying it, because of she said it already. Okay. I'm like, okay, then I can say it. But that move, that thing she did, was why the album was complete. Because that was the the only song. I was missing something oh, wow. and she just she came that morning because she told me a long time ago that she likes to record in the morning so it was a sunday morning and you know i called her she said she was available we went to the studio and she did it and i was like thank you mm. i saw my album I, immediately it was done i told spain who was the guy that did the recording i said give it to me i sent it straight to ty i said i'm done i'm good thank you very yeah, much <laughs> And the thing know. is, you know, all this stuff that they say about um, um, horoscope and mm, science, mm. I'm not really big on it. I wasn't big on it. I'm still not really big on it as such. You're but in Nigeria, how can you be big on horoscope? We've only told you the follow Exactly. You say, but there are some things that they say mm -hmm. that actually, I don't know if, if I'm 
Yeah, yeah, do you do you believe in horoscope? You I, don't. Actually, I I think I understand it, but I don't believe believe. I know, but there's some they things say, that they say. You like, like mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so it's a dicey thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So yeah, so there are some things that I read about my kind. Mm. That are like okay, maybe and if like this one, mm. yeah. And that's and, how the whole thing came about. Because yeah, yeah, I I I heard flash saying on what people. Yes. It's like um, uh, you know, something, something, something. They don't go complain. I'm like, first of all, for you to me personally, for yeah. you to have found flash. Yeah. I was like, no, basketball no reason to do. Yeah. No, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> you know, because that boy is one of the, it's one of the most talent. talented human beings I've met in my entire life. I met him two years ago, Ooh. and I told him that I was going to do some stuff. With him. That was when I was creating Papa oh, okay. Benji. So okay. I told him that. We will work later. He didn't and know that I was two years old. Uh, because I think his first song was oh, what's not, something. Dina, 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 Dina. I played that song. I kid you not. I played that song in my office, and three of my colleagues used it as a ringtone immediately. Yeah. So if you, it, and now me get bring the song called uh, Four Ringo. They, oh, two, four, <laughs> that's how good that that guy is. Yeah. When I when I I told him that I'm gonna do something with you. When we were making all the beats, and that this beat came, I like. This one is for Flash. Mm. This one is for Flash. I'm bored. <laughs> That's how I just this for Flash. I'm bored. I'm bored. It makes it so. <laughs> so, so it is, the song is nice because Flash is giving then both come to just came came like get, just like just perfect. So basically now, if somebody comes as a more basketball is one of the biggest A and R's in the game now because of this project. I don't know. I don't think they should say that. Let them wait. Hey, let me test me. Maybe this is a flu. Who knows? No, this is a joke. No, it thing, is. Man. I've heard people say that, but I yes, I sometimes I get flattered. Yeah. But I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let get to your head. Yeah, no, it's not because I, I I had support as well. I had my people around me. You know, even the doctor says, yeah. uh, Paladin, the guys around Jay, you know, Bucci too was around. Okay. Yeah, they all influenced the process. Oh, okay. You know, so, so basically, it took a not, village. Yeah, it took a village. So I won't just say, oh, uh, <laughs> so if you call me, so say, yes, I'll, you know, but yes, I don't like the. Has <laughs> <laughs> it always been, has the dream always been expansion? Yeah, for me, it's been about not just expansion as a person for me, but it's about expanding my own people. Oh, okay. That's so growing these people that are coming up with yeah, children. Yeah, and you know, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you pay attention, you notice that most of the things that I do is not. Like when I did Sunday Night Laughs, mm -hmm. beyond the fact that I was trying to create content for the audience mm -hmm. and create a, a, um, a, a platform for the brand to also mm -hmm. do their own thing, I was also creating, I was opening my space okay. for other comedians to do their own thing, okay. yes, and which is how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. you know? And when, I, when we did my flatmates, if you notice, it's not basket mouth, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. it has nothing to do. So. My flatmate is just my flatmate, and everybody has their own strength, and everybody is holding the, the fort 100%. When I say doing Papa Benji, I'm not Papa Benji. <laughs> it's a senator. Yeah. You understand? I'm behind. So for me, the expansion is not just me. The expansion is the whole project, expanding the project, expanding and pushing the people driving the project, each of them individually. Do you understand? Because that's how we all grow. Okay. You know, so that's me. That's yeah. you. That's you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's 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 talk about Yabasi. Yeah. Yeah. This, I honestly I knew. See, yeah, this life. Mm -hmm. It was later when I saw you were giving people box with onions in it, mm. and I actually went back and saw that there was actually onions yeah. on the on the cover. Yeah. So first of all, how did you? Why did you even? Let's do it as quickly as possible. Yeah. Why Yabasi? Why Yabas? Well, it's what? not Yabasi. Yeah, it's Yabas. <laughs> the eye is silent. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> let, let's see. Let's Yabas. see. Well, Yabas, whatever Yabas, Yabas is. But we call it Yabas. Yabas. It's called, uh, it's, what uh, language is this? It's Igbo. Huh? Igbo for That's onion. Igbo yeah. is yeah. Yabas. Is, yeah, me, trust me, I was. I did my research. I was trying to, I was searching. I was, I was, are you sure it's Yabas? Uh -uh. Because I thought it was Alubosa, but Alubosa is Yoruba. Alubosa is Yoruba. But Alubosa <laughs> sounds like Igbo too. You know what I'm saying? I think like, how some people too refer to onion as That's Alubosa. Al Alubasa. Al Alubasa, but yeah. Igbo is Yabas. Oh. So I was like, wow, it's a cool name for onions. Oh, okay. You know? So the thing is, um, because of how we created the show, Papa Benji. Papa Benji is, an, is a real Papa Soup joint okay. in Kirikiri Town. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I used to go there. Used to go there. Okay. Uh, when I, yeah. 
and, and there are so many elements that forms the project you know so there are layers upon layers oh. upon layers so i was like okay since we have layers it would be nice to use something because I, I didn't want to use my face because I'm not the one that's going to be singing. Okay. I can't use the 20 musicians as well because it was going to be too crowded. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, why not just use something that, you know, help define the project. So the onion, and uh, beyond that, that point, when you make your pepper soup, you use onions, onions. even if you're doing salad, yeah, <laughs> you so, whatever you're cooking, you, you have to use and onions. And a pepper yeah. soup joint. So onions is very, just... relative, uh, very relative to mm-hmm. such. And, as, and and also when we even if you look at the, the, what we used to write the yabas mm-hmm. is two peaks. Mm-hmm. Did you didn't notice that? I did not. So every, <laughs> I did not. I, I will, I will yabas not is lie. written in two okay. pe- with two peaks. So all those things, uh, jo- we just use everything around. And if you if you listen to the album, the album we made it relatable to each person. Like mm-hmm. we 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 try to speak for each person. You understand, like each struggling man. You know, see, we have we, we have we have more strugglers <laughs> than the big boys. But, exactly, but we don't call them strugglers anymore. We call them hustlers. Huh? But uh, we struggle. And we don't say we don't feel positive with the struggle. Huh? Brother, we struggle. We struggle, but we don't feel. You guys tell but yourself brother, positive things. You the hustle mm. when things day to hustle, mm. but nothing day to hustle, mm. man. Mm. Mm. Nothing there mm. to hustle. The place may go hustle. What do you want hustle? Exactly. When it's made, they go so now they struggle. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Long live me. 